Hello guys. So it's um it's uh Ty Rezac again and we got some birthday presents to uh, Christmas presents, I'm sorry. We got some Christmas presents to open. So this also came, these headphones, the AKG. Um I kind of wish I got the an, another Audio Technica pair. I mean, these are fine, but I just got them cuz I like the Galaxy Buds so much and it's AKG, but I mean they're fine, but they're really based on noise canceling and I don't really like noise canceling. I know most people do, but I personally don't. I don't know. That's just me, though. I, I guess I just listen to music so often. I need to hear other people around me. I don't want stuff to be blocked out. But I mainly just use this for movies, though. Like, I use these headphones to watch movies. I use my earbuds to watch me listen to music. So, But anyway, so I'm going to do some Christmas presents. That one, too. But anyways, let's get into this. Let's try to do this one first. So this one is Club Desque Escuena by Milton Nascimento and Lo Borges. It's a collaborative project and the first in the Club de Esquena series, I believe. And it's the only one I heard from it, though. But it's a Brazilian album, so it's in Portuguese. And this album is just really, really pretty. There's some, It's kind of like an MPB, I guess is what I categorize it as. But there's also some psychedelic pop stuff in here. Maybe some progressive pop stuff. And uh, let's see here. I mean, I don't know what they're saying because they don't speak in English, but the music's really pretty. And, they have some pretty good voices as well. It's actually probably my favorite Latin album, I'd say. All right, now let's do this Board Up the House by Genghis Tron. Now the vinyl is new and the CD is not. Let's go into the CD first because I always do that. And they are a cyber grind group from New York. And uh, they're also kind of math core, I guess you can also categorize them as. And cyber grind, if you don't know what that is, it's uh, basically grindcore music fused with electronic music, basically. Like electronic instruments and all that stuff. And they're probably my favorite cyber grind group, if you don't count Contrastic as a cyber grind group. But, but yeah, this album's really good. There's some humor in here too, but... There's actually some really interesting and really progressive elements in this too, actually. And it's kind of almost like a mixture of like Converge, well maybe not Converge, but like maybe like Botch and Apex Twin, but maybe not in this crazier form. This is the, the electronic bits are quite minimal. They aren't insanely like extreme, like the metal parts obviously are, but the the electronic segments aren't really that extreme. Like they're not like break core or speed core or anything like that. You know, they're probably I'd categorize them as like like sequencer or IDM or something like that. This is the the vinyl, and it doesn't have that imprint thing though. But it's still pretty cool. I'm glad I got this. I uh, they actually recently restocked this, so I'm really glad I got it. They're one of the most underrated, like, metal bands, in my opinion. Even though they're pretty much the most well-known Cybergrind group. But Cybergrind's a really underrated metal style, in my opinion. There's other really great groups in the genre, like Phantom Smasher, and, like, I guess old, I don't know if you categorize them as that, but there's also a, a group from Kenya called Duma. The Cybergrind group is pretty good. Some stuff by Igor, I guess, could be categorized as that. But anyways, okay, so now, um, let's see, hold on. One second. Um, all right, now let's do this one. This is Daughters by Daughters. This is a self-titled album that came out in 2010, and it was their, it's their second most recent album. And I think it's their second best, too. I think Daughters has pretty much just gotten better after each album. They're releasing a new album. And even though I love You Won't Get What You Want so much, like it's easily one of my, my favorite album of 2018, one of my favorite albums probably ever. But I'm borderline like, if they make a better album than You Won't Get What You Want, I borderline. Maybe might be a little bit surprised, so I'll give you that. But I'll, I'd be really... I'd be like, well, they did it again because they're one of the greatest groups, 
the 21st century, in my opinion. But they um, they started out as a math core group. Then they went towards kind of like a noise rock phase. And that's what this album is. But their most recent album is, is industrial rock and noise rock. And this is more of a noise rock. And it's was their most successful at the time. Too, but a lot of their, a lot of really great songs off this. Actually, you know, my favorite song by them is actually off this album. The Unattractive Portable Head, the last song on this. That song is my favorite song they ever did, personally. And I'd say this album has a bit of a similar sound to You Won't Do What You Want, but it's not as industrial themes, but it also has, a, it's not quite as dark or poetic, though. It's a bit, it's a bit like humorous at times, I'd say. And uh, let's see. So this is Magdalene by FKA Twigs. And uh, this is uh, one of my favorite albums of 2019. It's her best yet. She's another artist that pretty much has gotten better after each album, too. And uh, here's another album released, too, which you can maybe even top this. Now, Cellophane was my favorite song of last year. I'd probably say that song is really pretty easily my favorite song she ever did. And this kind of has some glitch pop elements in it, and her voice is just so pretty off of those two. I think um, Nicholas Jar, I think, helped produce this, and I think some stuff by Skrillex did too. Skrillex did help produce this too, I think. Yeah, this is a really, really pretty album, and some really kind of artistic elements in it as well. You constructed Club in there too, kind of interesting. She's going in that territory as well. All right, now we got to do the Massive Attack album. So, hold on. So this one is Mezzanine by Massive Attack. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, Mezzanine by Massive Attack. And if you're a big electronic music fan, you've probably heard of this one. This is widely regarded as one of the greatest trip hop albums ever made. Along with Portis Head's Dummy, this is considered to be one of the greatest yeah, hip trip hop albums ever made. And I actually prefer this over Dummy, personally. Um, I'm not a big fan of the label, though. It's just, I mean, how am I supposed to know what side is right, you know? I don't like it when they do that. But I don't know, maybe that's the point of them doing that, but I'm not a fan, though. I gotta admit. But the cover art's pretty cool, though. The cover art's of a stag beetle. That's what that is, by the way. But yeah, this is, um, Trip Hop is kind of like a, in case you don't know, it's like a really kind of relaxed form of electronic music, but it's also kind of hip hop influenced too, but not, there's not rapping in it, at least not usually, there can be, but it usually has female-led vocalists, and some stuff by Gorillaz is Trip Hop, is, that's a good way to go by, but this album has some rock elements in it as well as well as some dub reggae inspiration there's some heavy guitars in this too there's just and then there's just some tracks that are just really really pretty as well i'd say it's easily one of the an essential album in electronic music and definitely an essential in trip hop now that is about it guys so put this back here okay i got a couple things coming your way by the way so one of them, I am going to do my top 10 favorite albums of 2020 here at the end of the year. And I got something else coming today. So, all right. Hope you guys like it. Bye.